Good day and welcome to the Procon YouTube channel. My name is Anami and I'm a Procon Technical Consultant. Today I'll be looking at the modification tools in Sumo. Sumo has a number of modification tools available that are very similar to conventional CAD tools. These modification tools can be used on structural as well as curved elements. To illustrate the modification tools, let's look at this line. The first modification tool is the Move tool. Once again, I follow the instructions given at the top left corner of my model space. I select the object that I want to move, select the vector start and end. Alternatively, I can type the value in by using the tab key on my keyboard. To rotate an object, click on the rotate command and select the object that you would like to rotate and press enter. Once again, I am following the steps given above. Let's make a copy of this line using the copy tool. I want to copy this line at an angle of 30 degrees and then 15 meters and 30 meters from the original line. And make three copies in the y direction. I'll show the linear copy as well. Next, let's have a look at the geometry panel. The first one allows you to offset an object. So, I select my object, the side of my object where I want to offset it, and then the distance. The trim command allows you to trim objects to meet the edges of other objects. To do this, I click on my trim command, select the objects that I want to trim, and then select the segment to trim. The extend command allows you to extend objects to meet the edges of other edges. First, I select the object that I want to extend, then the object that I want to extend to, finally the side of the extension. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. Remember, Procon is an Autodesk Gold Partner and Authorized Developer Training and Certification Center. Please make sure to follow us on social media to get the latest news and updates and visit our website at www.procon.com.